Hi everyone, today I'm going to cook a uh, spaghetti bolognese. Again, it's my interpretation of uh, how I cook. I'm afraid I'm a bit of a throw everything in the pot. So um, first thing I'm going to do is, uh, let's go for the ingredients first. We've got a, a 5% lean mince, uh, lean, lean beef mince, whole, whole wheat spaghetti, salt and pepper, got some bay leaves, some mixed peppercorns, some parsley, smoked paprika. Now that's really nice. I don't know if you've tried that. Um, that gives it a, a real, uh, how would you describe it, a real sort of woody, deep taste to it. It's really nice. Uh, a little bit of thyme. Obviously going to cook the uh, onions and garlic and stuff in the fry light and the mince. Uh, onion, tomato puree, fresh basil, um, garlic clove, a couple of mushrooms, a tin of uh, whole tomatoes. I have to use whole tomatoes because Pat doesn't like tomatoes, so she can pick them out as uh, a whole uh, tomato rather than try and pick out little tiny bits that normally you'd use chopped tomatoes was the sauce I always put a little bit of mar uh, marmite in as well gives it that little tang a couple of mushrooms uh, a carrot and I'm only putting pepper in because uh, it's, it's getting a bit old so I want to use it up uh, normally I wouldn't put pepper in but I don't like wasted either and uh, I don't know if I said little oxo cube because we're we're working with beef okay so I'm gonna get started uh, to start with I'll just chop out the garlic and the onions, get that soaked off, get the mince in into the, uh, the pot with the garlic and onions, add a few of the herbs, get it started, get it cooking down. Um, the carrot, the pepper, well, look, the carrot will go in early with the onions as well, the pepper, the mushrooms will go in a bit later. Um, so we'll stop it for now and uh, I'll show you as I progress. Okay, so all I'm going to do is just show you with uh, the one cow what we do. I just spray the pan all round, maybe run out there, get another one out of the cupboard, and then put the chopped onions into the pan. If you see, I've chopped them up really finely, so it's sautés really quickly. I'm going to do the same with the gun, with the uh, the garlic and the carrot as well. I'll just demonstrate that for you now. I'm not going to try and teach you how to suck eggs or anything, but this is how you chop a, an onion if you want it fine. So. Put the root of the onion at the back because that's going to keep the onion together while you're chopping it and then just run up towards the root in close cuts and then when you come back on this side when you do cut it it just comes up really fine little tiny pieces of onion so that's the onion done i'm going to do exactly the same with the garlic again you don't want to use the root at the very end so just cut it as tight as you can to the root but you also now need I've got a bit of the root you also now need to come, come back and just chop it because otherwise you can have lumps of garlic in your food I'm not sure that anybody likes eating lumps so that's the garlic if I just quickly do one piece of carrot I just cut it into like eight of an inch thick pieces again just run down it because you don't want great lumps of carrot in the food so and again just cut it all up into tiny little bits so you can fry it like the onion and the garlic. Okay. Okay. okay so as you can see this is uh, starting to sweat down nicely. Um, I'm just about to add the mince uh, into that and I'll brown the mince off um, before I go any further. Okay so as you can see as I said I've browned it off now all, all the mince so that uh, it's all been sealed. And now I'm just going to add all of the herbs. I shouldn't really be doing this in front of the pack because she'll say, I don't like herbs. But there you go. So, a little bit of ground salt. Obviously, I'll do more uh, to taste as we need it. A bit of ground black pepper. Can't beat that. I'm going to, to throw in a, a bay leaf if I can get it out of the jar. Looks like holly. It's a bay leaf. These are peppercorns, different uh, red, green, white peppercorns, so just a little because they're really powerful and it does get a nice kick. Just a sprinkle of parsley. As I said earlier, I don't measure anything because I'm a chef or was a chef, so it's a case of uh, I do it to taste. This was the paprika I was talking about, absolutely awesome stuff. A little bit of thyme. And just gives it a little mixed flavours here. I'll put the oxo cube in in a second. A squirt of tomato puree. That was well measured, so that's about how I do that. I'll sprinkle the oxo cube in in a second, so that's uh, added all the herbs. Obviously, if it needs any more, I'll add them a bit later, but I doubt if it will. Um, so we'll just stop it here for a sec. 
Now just going to throw a couple more uh, ingredients in to the pot. Liam Perrins, old favourite. A nice uh, tablespoon, no teaspoon of that. As I said earlier, tiny bit of marmite just gives it that tang. So I will show you that because that's all I'm putting in, just a tiny little bit. Because you either love it or hate it. We actually both love it, so that's quite good. Get rid of that. Uh, bit of Oxo Cube. Mix all that lot in. It's starting to look like a, the right colour. Put all that together. Now the magic ingredients, as I said earlier, I use whole plum tomatoes because Pat can then pick them out. Get rid of that. Actually, I've forgotten something. Hang on a second. <clears throat> it doesn't matter too much because these are quite delicate vegetables, so they'll cook anyway in the sauce. So that's the mushrooms. If you look, I've chopped them up tiny. This was the fresh basil. And this was the pepper, as I said, I don't usually put it in, but I wanted to use it up because it was getting a bit soggy. So let's turn those over now, trying not to break the tomatoes. Normally most people would put chopped tomatoes in here. But for my recipe, or the way I'm doing it, I don't. It's starting to look like a bolognese now. And then we've got, of course, the best uh, the stock in the world came out of the tap over there. It's called water. We'll just rinse the can out a little bit. Pour that in there, make sure everything's covered and cook that down probably for 25-30 minutes, bring it to the ball then turn it down to simmer and cook it out and there's the spaghetti bolognese as I do it. So there you go, brought it up to the boil, um, all I'm going to do now is pop a lid on top of that, turn it down to a simmer and let it simmer until the meat is cooked. I, I'm guessing it's going to be about 25-30 minutes, I'll just come and taste it, I've never really timed it. Um, pretty rubbish really, I do it all by feel, touch, smell, taste. Okay, so that's that, pop the lid on and leave it to get on with it. I will turn it down to a simmer. I'll just pop the pan on ready for the uh, spaghetti, so that I'll just have some salt and pepper in the water. Back in the good old days, I'd have poured a little bit of oil in with it because it helps to keep the spaghetti from sticking together. However, um, because we're trying to eat healthy, there will be no oil in there. Okay, um, we just made this up now, as you can see on the usual uh, bed of spinach here. Pat this evening, because she's on an SP week, has decided that she doesn't want to try, she doesn't want to have pasta, so we've done some, I can't remember what they were, oh lentils, just plain lentils and just cooked them in a vegetable stock cube. Um, I would give you a little tip here, I've, I've never done this before, uh, it looks disgusting. Um, I put a whole stock cube in, it was a mistake, it is actually quite salty, um, so I would suggest maybe you just use half a stock cube when you're doing that. Um, spaghetti I've cooked over here, this is my one. This is supposed to be baby spinach, look, <laughs> look at the stalks on that. Pat doesn't like the stalks, so I've cut the stalks off for her, bless. Ooh, tell I was a chef, can't you? Fingers before spoons. Okay, there's the spaghetti, because we're obviously um, Emma might look at this and tell me there's not enough speed on there, so I've cooked a few vegetables as well. Let's just chuck those on. I love these little baby flowers, they're gorgeous. A um, bit of uh, cauliflower for the cat, a bit of cauliflower for me, a bit of broccoli, a couple of bits of broccoli for Pat. She wants that set, but because she's not sure she's going to like it. Um, where's my label on there? It's and she's already taken out the bay leaf because she's not a great fan of bay leaves. So I'm just going to dish this up now and pop that in the middle. She will take out her tomatoes and pop them on my plate when we're sitting in the dining room. That's probably enough for, for starters. We always come back for some more. Just pop that on there. And you know, this is, this is the crazy thing, look. This is absolutely insane. This is a huge plate full of food. I can eat all of this and lose weight doing it. It's absolutely mind-blowing it is. That's it. That's dinner tonight, so you've got the chickpeas, uh, lentils over there, spaghetti bolognese, well spaghetti bolognese for me, bolognese topping for Pat, fresh vegetables on a bed of spinach, happy days. That's dinner.